That's how excited I am. Today, I wanted to film a day in the life working in cybersecurity because, well, I haven't filmed a work vlog in literally a year now. And you guys really enjoy these videos. I really enjoy them. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. If you are new to my channel or you're a usual subscriber, you guys know this. But for those new to my channel, I started a new role in cybersecurity in a new company last year in November. And I'm a cyber. <laughs> I'm a cybersecurity awareness specialist, but I'm at this really good position where I know everything that I'm doing. Um, it's been really busy and lots of fun stuff to share with you guys. So I thought I would finally film a day in the life working in cybersecurity. Well, I've had such an amazing morning so far, guys. I woke up really early because I just couldn't sleep. I'm not that productive every day. I did want to put that out there because it's just not realistic to wake up at 6 a.m. every day and be super productive, read, go for a walk. Like, no, no, no. But today has been a really good morning and it just put me in such a great mood to start the day. Honestly, I feel like in the moment it can be hard, but it's good to ask yourself, how will I feel after I do this? And if you know you're going to feel good, try and do it. That is not what this video is about though. This video is all about cybersecurity. I just wanted to do this video because I feel like, well, for me personally, I studied technology and I wanted to work in technology, but the jobs I was working in were just so not suited to me. Like they were more boring, more technical, not a lot of stakeholder engagement and they just weren't me. And so it made me think that every single role in technology was like that, but that's not the case. There are so many different roles. So for example, in cybersecurity, you have a role like mine where you also have compliance managers and governance managers project managers you have pen testers you have data analysts forensic analysts like so many different roles and you just don't know about these roles unless you actually go into work experience them or research and watch videos like this Cybersecurity is so diverse there are so many different roles there are technical roles there are non-technical roles you can really do anything so long as you're passionate about cybersecurity willing to learn and i feel like also once you get into a company you can really do anything because it's hard to say what you actually want to do until you start work. So I think that's a bonus as well. So in this role, it's delivering awareness and education initiatives across the group I work for. So it's just me and my manager, which is good because there's so much responsibility, but it also can be difficult, I guess, because you are can you are constrained by the number of people in any team to be able to deliver anything. But the reason I love it is because it's so diverse. So there are so many different things that I work on. So I get to work on campaigns. Actually, yesterday was Safer Internet Day, which was a lot of fun. I created a video campaign and then I got everyone in cybersecurity involved in the video as well, which was really fun. But then in awareness, there's also education. So obviously educating our employees on how to spot scams and how to be cyber safe, how to safeguard their work devices so that people external people don't have access to our work data and all that sort of stuff but what else there's fishing simulations which i'm owning as well so i'll be able to deliver those monthly eventually there's also bau work which i have to do daily 
which is not the most exciting, but it needs to be done. I don't know, just a whole range of things, which is really good. I'm literally always busy like there's always something to do which is nice because i feel like i've also been on the under end of the spectrum where i feel like sometimes in grad programs you don't have that responsibility and you really do want it so i feel like i've experienced both ends but yeah just a whole range of things in the awareness and education space in cybersecurity. whole range of stuff really fun probably the most exciting role in cybersecurity, in my opinion i thought the agenda for today I don't want to like talk at you for the whole 10 minutes, even though I've literally just done that. But I want to bring you along throughout the day and basically go talk through every different thing that I work on. There's also a lot of stakeholder engagement in this role. So a lot of meeting with different areas of the group just so that you can get them on board in spreading cyber awareness messaging. And also because ultimately you need their help in getting, you know, those training programs in place and working out what their cybersecurity constraints are and then being able to deliver that. So if there is limitations in knowledge or something, understanding that and being able to deliver training customized to that area of the business. First things first, I have this task that I have to do twice a day and it is not exciting. It's actually very mundane. So this task that I have to do is a compliance task and I have to check this spreadsheet every single morning and see people who have input requests for access to a specific platform and then i have to check that they've done the training and then if they've done the training i approve the request if they haven't i send them an email it's all shebang shibuya guys and it used to be a grad's responsibility and he's left the team so it's moved on to little old chantelle and she has to do it every morning every afternoon Okay guys, I've done that task for the morning, so now I just have to do it this evening. But now I do have another compliance task to do. So basically we have this training that needs to be completed by all staff working with a specific thing, a specific thing. I don't wanna give too much away. And I'm the one monitoring the training and creating the training report. Monday was the final day for a lot of people to complete it. So today I'm updating the report. It shouldn't take as long today as it did yesterday, but just another more mundane, not as exciting compliance task that I have to do this morning. Put your body on the kitchen I'm having such a productive day. I love when I'm productive. It makes me so happy. I just hate wasting time. Like even yesterday I was sitting and watching Sweet Magnolias and I was just on my phone and it was annoying me so much. I was like, why are we so addicted to our phones now? It's actually a problem. Anyway, I realized that I haven't given you guys a tour of my office and I have an office in the new house and I'm gonna do a proper decorate with me video, but I thought I'd give you guys a little sneak peek. So guys, this is my office. And what we have, so this is the table I bought initially, which we do not like anymore and we're getting rid of it. So it's currently here for the time being. Then I have this lounge for filming because it's kind of going to be my office slash filming space. So I've got my lounge for filming and then this is my desk. It's not looking its finest right now, but I actually bought a new iMac for work this year as well because I get to use my own device and honestly using a little Mac with that tiny screen, it was just, it was painful. So I bought an iMac for work and I have been addicted to it. So yes, this is my little office space. I have all these little pens here. I love this mug. I got it when I went to Germany a couple years back and it just brings me such high vibes. The little Christmas boot, it's Santa's boot. It's so cute. That's my really quick desk tour. Hey guys, it is almost 11 a.m. I've been doing a bunch of fishing work, but I don't want to rush talking about it because I have a meeting in one minute. But this meeting is basically just a catch up with my manager and my manager's manager. And basically we just update everything that's going on in the awareness space, clarify any questions or anything. Uh, it's just a weekly catch up that we've set up. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. And then after that, I can chat to you guys about fishing. Uh, this is the first time I've looked half decent for a Google call. Good morning. How are you? It just does take a while to like message everyone, but but they were responsive, which was good. And I was like, otherwise I will escalate. And then they were like, 
Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> hey guys, my camera died earlier, so I couldn't even take you along to the meeting, which is so annoying. But we just had a catch up talking all things about awareness. And then we had a mini retro to reflect on Safer Internet Day, which was yesterday and the campaign and how it went and whatnot. Now I'm just quickly updating my Jira. So we use Jira to track stories and tasks and everything. I personally like to update Jira a lot just for visibility purposes. So I'm currently creating myself a story and then adding the tasks in that story. So it's really easy to use, really user-friendly. Literally, you just click a few buttons, create a story. You can create subtasks. You can assign them to yourself. You can look at the backlog, which is all the tasks that you have to do, but are not your priority right now. Then you can also look at your team board. So what everyone is individually working on. It's also nice to track because you can move things into progress or done or blocked or whatnot. So yes, very, very fun stuff to keep things tracked. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna quickly do now. Update my Jira. Now I'm going to move on to fishing simulations. It is currently 11.50 in the morning. We're almost at lunchtime. This is where I get so into things that I just, I don't break. And it's really bad because it hurts my eyeballs and it's just a problem. Anyway, I'm going to get through some fishing stuff, but I wanted to talk to you guys about it. So basically, I'm in charge of running the fishing simulations in the company that I work for. I'm running a targeted fishing campaign for an area of the business. I've sent that out as a test simulation to that team to see if they're happy with it. Then what I need to do with that, which I'm actually going to work on today, is just play around with the system because it's really hard with a new system because no one's been taught how to use it and neither have I so I'm just like playing around learning how to use it hey guys it is um it's about an hour later I'm just trying to charge you up honestly so it's so annoying because I feel like I just can't keep talking to you but I can't remember where we were at I'm actually not hungry yet so I didn't end up going for a lunch break but I will have an acai bowl later because it's like 30 degrees today I swear in all my vlogs it looks like the only lunch I ever eat is acai and I promise I've stopped eating acai but it's a hot day okay so your girl wants acai one of the things I want to work on now I just want to get it over and done with because it's next week. We have a team meeting every month and I'm in charge of the presentation. I have never been to one before, so I'm not running this next one, the one that's next week, but I will be taking it on from that point onwards and facilitating the session. So it's with everyone in cybersecurity across the group. Yeah, nothing really to say there. I just have to work on the presentation now. It's so hard with these videos because I feel like it's just a whole bunch of me talking at you. It's not really exciting or interactive. That is that. I have to fix the PowerPoint. So I'm hoping to just get it done now. It's almost one o'clock. And then I have a meeting with my manager at 1.30. thousand hairstyles in one day i'm about to join a meeting with my manager it is almost 1 30 in the afternoon i haven't yet breaked my lunch so i'm gonna after my meeting go for an acai bowl and i'm so excited not really much to update i was just working on that pack that i talked to you guys about earlier yeah that's the update so far hey i'm good how are you i don't know maybe more about quality than quantity like really working out before we do our next campaign what can we actually do to get people engaged rather than just like posting more frequently but thinking what can we actually do i know i have like half on about it but i just think it is good to incentivize people to actually engage i don't know i really want to see that id through yeah i'm thinking that because it's marked as a spear fish it might not fall into that library <coughs> I don't want to say guys again because I say guys way too often, but I've made myself a chicken salad. It is so good. I've started making this salad like every day now. It has this honey mustard dressing and it's just delicious. So I've made my salad. It is now 2.30. Um, I have, what is this? Is this food? Should I just eat it? Will it regret it? Because what if it's not food? I just dropped it on the floor. It's now 2.30. I don't really feel like not working. So I'm just going to eat at my desk because I always eat at really random times. I don't know. I just eat when I'm hungry, I guess. 
and it's easy to do because you work from home so you can eat whenever. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put you down because my hands are shaking, but it's seven o'clock. I just finished my workout. I have had the best day. I feel so good today. Like, honestly, the best work day I've probably ever had. Just filming with you guys and bringing you along just puts me in the best mood. I absolutely love it. I definitely want to do it more if you guys are enjoying this work vlog. But yes, I just did a class at the gym. I'm gonna head home, do a bit of editing, eat dinner. I've been really bad recently because I haven't really found a good balance between YouTube and work. So I usually edit until like 10 p.m. and then I watch one TV show that ends up being three episodes and then I go to bed at like midnight. It's really not ideal. But that is how it's going so far and I'm doing fine with it. So yes, it feels so good after training. That class was so hard. The instructor, we absolutely love. She's amazing. She worked our butts today really, really hard. So I'm definitely going to feel that tomorrow, but I just feel so good. Oh my gosh. This is your reminder to move your body because it feels incredible and Honestly, prioritizing your physical and your mental health just makes life so much more enjoyable and it even makes you approach work so much better. So I just, I can't recommend it enough. Okay, let's head home. There is a life I lead in this city. Hurry and cut my teeth 